My name's Tim, and I'm here to introduce the Quick Drive, which is a simple method of cleaning pipes of various sizes with a flexible lance. So the Quick Drive has a number of different parts. One of the parts is a pipe clamp. So the pipe clamp can attach to pipes of 2 to 12 inches in diameter. The pipe clamp attaches to the helix drive. The helix drive has a mating pipe to the pipe clamp and it has a backout preventer which stops the tool or stops the hose on the tool and also a splash guard to prevent any jets from exiting the pipe. The hoses for the control box are two 3 8 inch pieces of tubing with JIC8 fittings and the hose is 15 feet long. The quick drive has two separate styles of control boxes, a tripod mount and a floor mount version. The tripod mount, like the floor version, has 15 feet of additional hose so that the user can be further away and can get a better view while they're cleaning. The floor mount version, similar to the tripod version, has that same 15 feet and also a handle to carry and a strap to put over your shoulder in case your hands are not free. So let me show you how to take the hose in and out of the quick or the helix drive. Four bolts on the external housing must be removed. And then the two split collars must be removed. So once the external housing is removed, you can see the two gear packs. One of the gear packs is static, and the other one has a hundred thousandths of an inch of stroke. The one with a hundred thousandths of an inch of stroke has a three-eighths inch bolt on the back that must be removed. So once the bolt is removed, that gear pack will slide up and the lance can be inserted or removed. So to swap gear packs, each gear must be completely removed. So the first one is removed by completely removing the 3 8 inch bolt on the back. The second one, okay. The second one is removed by loosening the socket head cap screws within the, the gear pack so that it can release the collar attached to the shaft. In addition to flex lance, the helix drive also accommodates five, six, and eight millimeter helix raft hose. So one of the limitations of the gear packs is they run a specific size of hose and they're difficult to insert and remove the hose. So in the future, there will be a roller that will accommodate multiple sizes of hose and be much easier to insert and remove flexible lands. To achieve the 100 thousandths of an inch of stroke, there is an eccentric nut which sits below the 3 8 inch bolt. So that nut, as it's turned from uh, one direction to the other, accommodates that stroke. There's a detent in the eccentric nut so that you can tell if you're at the low end or the high end of the stroke. To attach the pipe clamp, put the strap around the pipe and latch it onto the pipe capture bar. Pull the strap tight and then ratchet down with the provided lever. Next, take the helix drive and the positioner arm and load the positioner arm onto the pipe clamp. There's a pin and offset holes to allow the pin to go in in small increments. The last step is to connect the air lines from the control box to the helix drive. You'll notice that the hoses are labeled with a purple tag and the air motor has a purple tag 
on it as well. So pull the dust caps off. Purple goes to purple, and black goes to black. And the same is true for the control box side. There's a purple tag and a purple tag on the control box. And whether you're using the tripod version or the floor mount version, the assembly is the same. There's a purple tag with a JIC8 fitting and a black tag with another JIC8 fitting. The controls for this tool are very simple. It has a high pressure water dump so that the tool may be at pressure when the dump is engaged. And there's a hose feed in and a hose feed out. The regulator for this tool is located at the top of the FRL assembly and should be set to 100 PSI. The tool also includes two flow control valves so that the hose may be fed in and be fed out at a desired speed. The way that is adjusted is with a flathead screwdriver and screwing that screw in makes the hose feed slower. There's also a high pressure water dump which requires the user to connect a quarter inch tube to the back of the FRL. 